The Eighth Prince comes from strange stories from a Chinese studio. It tells the story of Feng Sheng from Gansu, who releases a turtle and receives a reward from the turtle spirit, the Eighth Prince. A pair of eyes that can identify the location of hidden treasures. This leads to a series of events and stories. Behind the tale of the Turtle King's gratitude lies a deeply moving love story that touches the heart. Although the story is not lengthy, it features numerous characters and a complex and vivid plot, carrying rich meaning and themes. In Lintao, there was a man named Feng Sheng. He was originally born into a noble family, but as time went on, his family's fortunes declined, and life became increasingly difficult. One day, as he returned from his journey, he reached the banks of the Yellow River, when the sky was already dimming. Suddenly, he saw a heavily intoxicated man stumbling towards him. Behind the drunk man followed several young servants, suggesting his wealthy status. The drunkard, from a distance, asked Feng Sheng, Who are you? Disliking drunken individuals, Feng Sheng casually replied, Just a passerby. Hearing Feng Sheng's dismissive tone, the drunkard grew furious and asked, Don't you have a name? Just a chance encounter with a stranger, and yet, you're being so unreasonable. Feng Shen was uninterested in further conversation and continued to walk ahead. This further angered the man, who grabbed Feng Sheng's arm and demanded, Who are you? The man said, I used to be the magistrate of Nanjing. Feng Sheng replied, I never imagined encountering such an unreasonable magistrate in the world. Luckily, you used to be a magistrate. If you were the current magistrate, no one would be able to walk freely. The drunkard grew even angrier and was about to throw a punch. Feng Sheng loudly said, I am not one to be bullied. Unexpectedly, upon hearing this, the drunkard's anger turned into joy. He stumbled and bowed, saying, It turns out you are my benefactor. I was rude to you while I was drunk. Please forgive me. He then instructed his attendants to prepare food and wine, and took Feng Sheng by the hand. To a small village, entering a magnificent and wealthy courtyard. As he sobered up slightly, he told Feng Sheng, I am the eighth prince from the Yellow River. You are my benefactor, you saved my life, I offended you when I was drunk. Please accept my apologies. Feng Sheng remembered that not long ago, someone had given him a large turtle. However, he noticed a white spot on the turtle's forehead, and found it curious, so he released it into the wild. The eighth prince before him appeared to be the turtle spirit he had encountered. Although aware that the eighth prince was an extraordinary being, Feng Sheng was unafraid. The two of them drank and chatted happily, enjoying each other's company. Before parting, the eighth prince said to Feng Sheng, I have a treasure to give you as a token of gratitude for your kindness. However, this treasure should not be worn for long. Once your desire is fulfilled, please return it to me. With that, he spat out a small figure from his mouth, which he pressed into Feng Sheng's arm. A large lump quickly formed on Feng Sheng's arm, resembling a swelling. Feng Sheng asked what it was, and the eighth prince only smiled, urging him to leave. As Feng Shen walked away, he looked back and saw that the village and houses had disappeared. Only a large turtle was slowly crawling into the water. After standing in astonishment for a long time, he realized that he had received the turtle treasure. Following this, Feng Shen's eyes became extraordinarily sharp. He could clearly see any buried gold, silver, and jewels underground. In his own backyard, he dug up hundreds of coins, living a worry-free life from then on. When someone wanted to sell an old mansion, he saw numerous treasures buried beneath it at a glance. He spent a hefty sum to acquire it, instantly becoming wealthy with countless treasures of gold and silver. Before long, Feng Sheng acquired a magical mirror. This mirror not only reflected a person's features clearly, but also had an even more extraordinary ability. Whenever it was used to reflect a beautiful woman, that woman would remain in the mirror forever. No matter how much she bathed or cleansed herself, she would never vanish from the mirror. The only way for her to disappear was if another beautiful woman were reflected in the mirror. 
In Lintao, there was a prince named Su. His third daughter was renowned for her beauty, and Feng Sheng had admired her for a long time. Hearing that she was going to Kunlun Mountain for a leisure trip, Feng Sheng hid himself there in advance. As Princess San descended from the carriage, he used the mirror to capture her image. He then placed the mirror on his desk, and frequently admired. The image of the princess within it, captivated by her every smile and gaze. A year later, Feng Sheng had a dream in which the eighth prince appeared. The eighth prince told him that he should return the treasure. Wearing the treasure for an extended period would consume his vitality and shorten his lifespan. Feng Sheng nodded and invited the eighth prince to share a drink. The eighth prince declined, saying he had quit drinking. As he reached out to bite Feng Sheng's arm, Feng Sheng woke up in pain and shock. Looking at his arm, the lump had disappeared. From that point on, Feng Sheng's life returned to normal, and he could no longer see the hidden treasures beneath the earth. Alright, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.